Whenever I hear people saying that uh, jujitsu is just people punching each other, it just kind of it, it angers me a bit because <laughs> it's not it's not just people fighting each other. There's a lot of technique behind it. You're always thinking of like five steps ahead, and it's like a human chess match, really. Well, I first started. Well, I first got into jujitsu because I needed a self defense for my future career as a police officer. So I looked into like a few different types, and I got into and I saw jujitsu, and really interested me, and I got into it. And after the first month, I uh, I like just fell in love with it. It was a you know it's a really fun sport, a lot of uh, comp like a lot of competing, and it's nothing like I've ever really done before. So. Okay, so me and Chris have known each other for a while, since before he was on the team. I actually offered, asked him to come out and train with us. He did. And uh, he eventually got into it and started training with the team. And actually progressed quite quickly. Um, it started out, we were having a lot of fun just training together. But then he started advancing quite quickly. And he got pretty good. And now it's more of a competitive thing for him. So I wouldn't say there's less enjoyment, but there's definitely more pressure on him to perform well with his tournaments and with his matches. I'm better. No, I'm definitely the better one. I tap you out every time I train. Man, you get choked out every single time. No, you've only won I, one tournament. You think you're better than me. Oh, I'm so awful. I'm pussy. Chris. Are you kidding me? You're terrible. Man, you throw limbs everywhere whenever we roll. I just you snatch just started them. like a year and a half ago. No. Yeah, that's why I'm better. You've been you're doing not better. Like, I've been doing it much longer. I'm better than you. Yeah, and I've won more tournaments than you. You've won one tournament. <laughs> one more than you. <laughs> Well, jujitsu has affected my life in many ways. One being the self-discipline. Uh, take self-discipline to put in the hours at the gym or to eat the right foods to cut the weight that you need for the tournament. But the thing is, uh, the self-discipline, it follows you with your everyday things that you do. So like school or going to w having to wake up early to go to work or just uh, taking that time off to spend time with your family even though you don't want to do it sometimes. So, for someone to say that, this like, jiu-jitsu, the things that you learn in jiu-jitsu jiu are only simply just used in jiu-jitsu is completely wrong, I think. Because it's more, it's more like a culture, and you kind of live the jiu-jitsu life outside of the gym as well. So this week, I'm just kind of, I'm just trying to relax, take it easy, uh, avoid doing anything too, uh, too hard on my body. I want to be fresh for when I go and fight. I've done already everything I could do physically. Uh, it's just mentally now, just getting myself mentally prepared, knowing that I can win, and knowing that I'm at the top of my game right now. So right now, I just came back from a run. I'm just trying to get myself to be in that in that state of mind where I want to give up but I'm I have to keep on pushing and pushing I know the other guy that I'm gonna be competing against is gonna be he's gonna be at the top of his game so I have to make sure I'm one step ahead of him so I'm not fighting his fight he's fighting my fight nowadays when he goes to compete he's he doesn't seem nervous at all he's just completely confident pumped up and I really think it's transitioned almost into his into his life um, Socially, he's a lot more confident, he's outgoing, and he's not really nervous in many social situations. So it's really translated into how he lives his life. I need to man up and just, you know, fight through all the pain and just give him my all. This is, this is the day of the fight. I uh, just went over some technique, just a warm up, whatever, get, my, get myself feeling confident. Uh, I'm a little nervous right now, but... I think back to all the stuff I cut out, like my diet, all the hard work I put in, all the hours I sacrificed, and hopefully I can go there, kick some ass, and win. Let's just see if it pays off.
Chris. A little aggressive. There you get to talk now? Yeah. yeah. Tell us about the fight. I'm bummed out that I lost the fight. It meant a lot to me as far as moving up in my team. I wanted to get a win, get myself, be a little more noticed in my team higher up in the rankings. But I learned a lot from the fight. I don't completely agree with the ref's decision, but I shouldn't be leaving it up to the ref's decision. Uh, you know, next time, definitely not going to let this happen. I'm only motivated to train harder and give it my all next time. Sorry I couldn't win the fight for the documentary. <laughs> I don't actually care.